So let's look at the island of Aruba in the Caribbean. Aruba is located near Venezuela, it's just north of Venezuela and just east of Colombia. So it's very close to South America, similar to how Trinidad and Tobago is very close to Venezuela. Now the nice thing about Aruba is its climate. It's not any really any hurricane line for destruction and whatnot, so they have it relatively easy, although they can get, you know, tropical storms or whatever. But they have a temperate climate and it's interesting because it's both desert-like and tropical. So there's a lot of desert plants because it's very dry, in fact. To get their water, they have to actually use a desalination plant. Now, Aruba has a rich history, just like other Caribbean islands. You know, it had invasions by the Spaniards from Spain, the English, the Dutch, and so forth. But largely, the Dutch held on to it, and, uh, and uh, because of that, the Netherlands has its. Uh, is its sovereign nation so Aruba acts like a municipality I guess or a colony if you want to call it that they did push for independence but they don't quite have it so they act like a ward of um, the Netherlands they were once under Curacao which is another island uh, near to it but they wanted their own independence but it's not quite there yet and in my opinion stick with the Netherlands you know you have the best of both worlds I've seen a lot of Caribbean islands small islands that go for independence and then they struggle a lot besides that uh, Aruba counts a lot on tourism they have a luxurious lifestyle I would say for tourists luxury tourism similar to the Bahamas um, they used to have they had a, a big oil boom at one time but um, that didn't work out too well and they had to close the refinery but when they did have oil in production it enabled Aruba to boom a lot you can see how the orange tram uh, passes through the city. I believe the capital is called Orangestad. Orangestad, something like that, which I believe it actually means Orange City. It's a good place to get away from it all. It has lots of great beaches. And because you have that European influence, everything is up to standard up to par now a lot of people want to worry about its location near to Venezuela because of what's going on with Venezuela the sanctions and whatnot most of the feedback that I get is that you know yes there are Venezuelans that try to make it across but there aren't that many and you know, Aruba maintains a relatively safe disposition. You can go around the island, which isn't very big at all. It's only six miles across, I think, 20 miles long. Um, and while there, you would feel relatively safe. Of course, there are those who would think otherwise, but you know, like everything else in any part of the world, you always have to be aware of your surroundings and whatnot. But from what I gather, everything is relatively safe. Now Aruba is part of three islands that are often referred to as the ABC Islands. If you haven't heard about the ABC Islands, well then this is what the islands are. They are, one is Aruba, the other one is Curacao, and the other one is Bonaire. So in order it would be Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao or ABC, the ABC Islands, all under the jurisdiction of the Netherlands. So the Dutch does have a big role to play here 
and uh, if you looked on a map you would see these three tiny islands just north of Venezuela and east of Colombia and you would think oh these are just probably territories of Venezuela but they aren't they are their own and in a way they have their own little uh, jurisdictions as well so they have their own lifestyle own language papamento and they have uh, they do speak of course Dutch and also English it's always has you know when I was in uh, Britain I I met quite a few Europeans and I've always been amazed at how Europeans could speak multiple languages and they love to learn languages but as English speakers we just don't seem to pick it up so that's off to our the people of Aruba who have made it that they can understand multiple languages so have you ever been to Aruba? Did you like it? Did you enjoy your stay? What did you do there? I'd love to know in the comments area of my YouTube channel in this video. Tell us when last you were in Aruba and how you enjoyed your stay, how you felt the prices were. Some people think it's a bit pricey, but you know. When you're coming on any tropical vacation, usually it is pricey. But is it? ridiculous is it you know fair whatever how you enjoy the food how you enjoy the people I, we would all love to know so tell us how you enjoyed the island of Aruba